Welcome to CFI PeopleNet. This video will show you how to use the workflow feature in PeopleNet. Another video in this series titled Board Received Load Workflow shows you how to go on the board, respond to assigned messages, and access load information contained in the workflow that was sent to the truck. This video starts assuming you have an active workflow. If you do not have an active workflow, please follow the steps in the previous video. The multicolored workflow icon tells you workflow is present. But before we start driving, we need to do a pre-trip. To begin a pre-trip inspection, tap Duty Status. Touch Inspect. Verify your logbook status is changing from off-duty to on-duty. Tap Remarks. Touch in the area below Remarks to open the keyboard. Type in Pre-trip. Tap the icon to close the keyboard. Touch Accept. Verify Inspect Pre-trip is entered in Remarks. Tap Accept. Do not touch New or Existing. They will take you to the DVIR, a place you don't want to go. Touch the PeopleNet icon in the upper left-hand corner. At the end of your pre-trip, you have two options. You can start driving, and after two miles, your duty status will automatically change from on-duty to driving. If you're not ready to drive, to change to off-duty, touch the duty status icon. Tap Off-Duty. Verify the change from on-duty to off-duty. Then touch Accept to return to the CFI home screen. With the pre-trip completed, let's take a final quick look at the load information before we start driving. We're going to deadhead about 16 miles to Lazy Boy in Neosho, Missouri. We can see directions to the shipper, and these should be written down and verified before we start driving. Do not rely on GPS navigation. Most often, it will send you somewhere other than the truck entrance to the customer. Read again the instructions we need to follow once we arrive at Lazy Boy. Because we've confirmed exactly where we're going, we'll touch navigation and trust it to get us close. Once navigation loads, we can start driving. After two miles of driving, log duty status will automatically change to driving. By touching the curl to arrow icon, you can switch between navigation and hours of service screens. Remaining hours on 11, 14, 70, and 8 are displayed in real time. Additional truck performance information is shown on the right. Return to navigation by touching the navigation icon. When the truck is within about 1,500 feet of your destination, it will enter an area called the geofence. You will not know you have entered the area until you come to a complete stop. When you are stopped, PeopleNet will ask, have you arrived? If you are at the correct location, select yes. If not, answer no. Continue driving until you have stopped in the correct location, then answer yes. As additional trucks stop, the geofence will adjust to the correct location. If you've stopped where you're supposed to be, and PeopleNet has not asked, have you arrived? Touch the workflow icon, then highlight the text for the stop, and tap arrived. But please, be certain you are in the correct location before you do it. You will then see the loaded as expected form. This form could also ask if you are empty or if the relay has been made. It depends on the type of activity and the type of stop. In most cases, you'll want to remove this form from the screen and change your duty status. Touch Suspend. The screen will clear for about two minutes. You can suspend the form as many times as you want. To change duty status, touch the duty status icon, tap Off Duty, and touch Accept. When you are loaded, tap to enter choice. Follow the prompts to enter all of the information.
If you forget to enter information in one of the fields, you will be prompted to make the correction. You also will be asked, do you want navigation to your next stop? Often you'll arrive at a destination and navigation which is not the same as the geofence will not clear because it is not in the precise location. If you want to use navigation to your next stop, you will need to clear the old navigation. To clear it, touch the six squares icon. Tap on Clear Destination, touch End Navigation, and return to the CFI home screen. You can manually change your duty status to drive or just drive away from the stop and your duty status will change in two miles. As in the stops before, when you are within 1500 feet of your next stop and you come to a complete stop, you will be asked if you have arrived. Because we are going to empty out at this stop, we will be asked if we are empty. Fill out the information as required and select Send. When all stops have been completed, the workflow icon will gray out indicating you have completed the load.